you well at home you also have to take care of your plants and some of you may even turn on your heaters NBC 6 reporter Marissa back is live in Fort Lauderdale with what you need to know Marissa Hey there, Jawan. Yeah, temperatures in the 30s, that can certainly shock your tropical plants. So anything that's small and potted like these, if it's easy enough, go ahead and bring them inside. That'll help protect the plant. But if that's not an option and something's too heavy or too big, just get your sprinklers going. One of the best ways to protect your yard and outdoor plants from a cold snap, set your sprinkler system to come on early in the morning. As the sun's coming up, that's the worst time when the, the temperatures will drop that bad right before the sun comes up. Zeke Zugger of Zugger Growers in Fort Lauderdale is doing the same thing with his commercial plants as he would do at home. Bring tropical plants inside and anything too big to bring in, cover them with a bed sheet. Many bed sheets or something, you can clump the plants together and drape it over a tall one so it's not laying on the little plants. Just be sure to take the cover off as soon as the sun is up. As for staying warm inside, it's best to rely on central heating. And if you do use a space heater, make sure to keep it three feet away from all furniture and curtains. Only use them while you're home and while you're awake and plug them directly into the wall. Never use an extension cord. Another big no-no, using your oven to heat your home. This is a recipe for disaster. Uh, you know, there's no telling whether it, it's uh, kitchen towels or anything that's in that area. Uh, the ovens are, are designed to be closed at all times. If you have a chimney here in South Florida, make sure it's clear and clean before lighting a fire. On Sunday night, a family trying to warm up by a fireplace had to escape the flames that scorched their home. The other day, we had a chimney fire in the town of Davie uh, from people not knowing how to properly operate or, or devices that haven't been used in such a long time. Speaking of a long time, it may have been a while since you've turned on your heat. If you're going to be doing that for the first time, in a long time over this coming weekend. Don't be alarmed if you first smell a little bit of burning because that's likely dust that has settled on the coils inside of your unit. As long as it goes away pretty quickly, you're just fine. If it seems to linger or if you see any kind of smoke coming from vents, you're going to want to go ahead and call 911 right away. We are live in Fort Lauderdale. Marissa Bag, NBC6 News.